Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a lineup of three recipes for you. Let's start off with crispy and flavorful chicken 65 puffs, followed by a DIY tutorial on how to make homemade sugar wax for hair removal. And uh, since Eid is here, I'll be sharing a deliciously simple recipe for caramel bread pudding, perfect for celebrating Eid. Hope you'll watch this video till the end and like it. All right, let's dive into the first recipe that is chicken 65 puffs. Now I know Ramadan is over, but trust me, this dish is so delicious, you'll want to make it year round. To make these puffs, I started by shallow frying chicken that was marinated with red chili powder, turmeric powder and salt on high flame until it was charred. Then I added butter to the same pan and then added curry leaves and green chilies and cooked it for a minute. Then I added chopped onions and sautéed it until it became soft and translucent. Meanwhile, I made a sauce by combining tomato paste, tomato ketchup and yogurt. Mixed it and kept it aside. Once the onions were soft and cooked, I added ginger garlic paste and cooked it on low flame for a minute. Then I added the prepared sauce into the onion mixture and cooked it on high flame for about 5 minutes. I then added sugar, red chilli powder and uh, cooked it for a minute on low flame. And then I adjusted the salt. I then added the fried chicken back into this gravy and poured water, just a half a cup of water and uh, cooked it on low flame uh, for 20 minutes. By then the gravy would have reduced and thickened beautifully. I then took out the chicken and uh, deboned it. The sauce is nice and thick as you can see as it cools it becomes more thicker then i uh, added the boneless chicken pieces back into the sauce and mixed it and that's the gravy ready sorry that's the filling ready To assemble, I took a square puff pastry and added a generous amount of the filling in the center. You can add cheese too if you want. And then I placed another puff pastry square on top and sealed the edges with a fork first. To make sure that the puff pastry doesn't open up while baking, I sealed sealed the puff uh, pastry further with a pastry crimper. I then made slits like this on the pastry, brushed it with egg wash and air fried it for 25 minutes. And that's the crispy flaky puffs ready with burst of flavor in every bite. Moving on to the next recipe, this one's been highly requested by many of you. It's the homemade sugar wax recipe for hair removal. I know a lot of you have been curious about it ever since I mentioned it in a previous video. I didn't make it earlier because I had a large jar of it already. But since Eid is just around the corner and many of you might want to try it at home, I decided to share it with you. My lovely house help lady graciously shared her recipe and even helped me demonstrate it in the video. 
to prepare the sugar wax we start by combining sugar lemon juice and a soda with a, a flavor similar to 7up such as kinza cola remember we are boycotting 7up so opt for an alternative and now stir the mixture continuously until it comes to a boil and the sugar melts giving it a caramel color once uh, you get that color remove it from the heat and allow it to cool slightly before transferring it into a jar for storage and there you have it homemade sugar wax is ready to use she has a convenient method for using the sugar wax whenever we need it she simply microwaves it for about 10 to 15 seconds until it becomes slightly soft then she massages the wax in her hand to make it pliable before applying it directly on the skin she doesn't use wax strips instead she apply it directly on the skin and she pulls the wax itself to remove the hair however if you want to use wax strips then you can heat the sugar wax a bit more to make it more liquidy then use a stick apply the wax on the skin and use a wax strip to pull it off it seems we can store the sugar wax for about one year uh, so feel free to make a large batch and have it on hand whenever you need it i'll post the recipe ingredients in the description now on to the final recipe caramel bread pudding a delightful dessert that my mom shared with me to start i placed trimmed slices of bread in a pudding tray after placing the bread in the pudding tray i prepared a caramel custard using ready made caramel custard mix uh, it's not the custard mix this is the creme caramel or caramel custard mix that you get in you know the green boxes i buy the brand greens so i boiled milk and added caramel uh, custard powder letting it come to a boil then i poured half of the caramel mixture over the bread ensuring it was evenly spread then i added a layer of nuts like pistachios and almonds and then i added another layer of bread closely packed The remaining caramel custard mixture was then poured over the second bread layer allowing it to soak. I then topped it off with more nuts and a layer of plain cream. Since this dessert leans towards the less sweet side you can sweeten the cream with condensed milk or you can even use the uh, the whipping cream powder because it will be sweet um i kept it plain as we prefer less sweet desserts you can even add uh, powdered sugar in your cream or make a cheesecake type mixture by combining cream and uh, the cream cheese cubes kiri cheese cubes and condensed milk and things like that and you can make a pudding type cream and pour on top these are some of the options that i'm giving you finally i drizzled melted lotus all over the cream because i feel lotus makes every dessert taste good once assembled i refrigerated the dessert overnight you can even uh, refrigerate it for a minimum of five hours if you don't have time and there you have it delicious caramel bread pudding is ready to be enjoyed I also recently made bread kanafa which is another delightful option for your Eid dessert. If you haven't seen it yet, please check out the reels on my Instagram and shorts in YouTube for a step-by-step -step guide. That wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed these recipes and will give them a try. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And make sure to share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, inshallah. Thank you so much for watching.